Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormon Church. This is the temple in Salt Lake City, Utah, Temple Square. Early Christians believed in baptisms for the dead. Twelve oxen around a font can be seen in early Christian artwork, such as this one being depicted in modern times by the LDS Church. For example, here's a baptismal font dating back to the 10th through the 12th century. Twelve oxen around it. Critics of the LDS faith will not be able to pass their own test if they put on the LDS faith. We will also show that the critics' own standards and symbols if placed under their own anti-Mormon standard would not be able to, their own symbols will not be able to pass their own test. And in fact, they will be attacking their own early Christian roots by attacking things in Mormonism. The critics of Mormonism attack the symbolisms of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, but lets the symbolisms of the faith speak for themselves. They follow the biblical interpretation in Paul's writings, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, where he talks about the three degrees of glory. That's what some of these symbols mean on the temple, is the three degrees of glory mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. The hand clasp has its symbolism in early Christianity. The star also has been distorted by the critics to, or they claim it is a satanic symbol to the Mormons, where it is not. The cult has borrowed Christian symbolisms and have distorted them. This is a 12th century early Christian depiction with the arms of God and the dove in a star, Virgin Mary and Jesus clasping the hand of an early Christian as well as later artwork and writings. You see the four pointed star and other pointed stars which have their historical meaning. In the Book of Art, volume one, page 65, we have a church that has some stars in it, early Christian church.
observes Christ ascension up into heaven, Christ reaches toward the hand of God that's sticking out of part of the picture or out of a cloud in other depictions. Sometimes you see hand clasps. Here's Christ's ascension up into heaven again. The hand of God is grabbing him by the wrist while an angel clasps his hand. In early Christian temple mysteries, that you can read in the early Christian fathers, the writings of the early Christian fathers like Cyril of Jerusalem, these all have symbolical meaning. They would uh, go through the ritualistic wounding of Christ. It was through the wounds of Christ that mankind gained salvation. Christ ascension up into heaven again. Again, Christ ascension up into heaven. Marriage. Notice the man is what might be interpreted as a horned hand, but of course in this setting, it wouldn't be interpreted in that way. Again, it's a marriage depiction. He's got his hand raised, taking an oath of fidelity, and he's about ready to put his hand in hers in a token of... Here's a depiction of Christ's baptism. In early Christian writings, they, uh, there was mention of three immersions, and uh, they, they anointed the catechumen from head to toe with oil. They go down in the water. They would be baptized three times, completely underneath the water, immersed and then they would receive a white garment.